Hey, Rose, your 2A here, back with another episode of Exposing the Spread of the Anti 2A Agenda. Okay, series where I break anti gun people up into different categories so that we as gun people can better understand why a person may be anti gun, what type of anti gunner they may be, so that we know how to deal with that person, you know. Should we have a conversation with them? Should we present them with facts? Or is it maybe just a lost cause, right? Um, you know, a lot of us, I feel, kind of put um, anti-gun people into the same category when they, they really aren't, right? There's definitely multiple categories of anti-gun people. So that's the purpose of this series is breaking that down. Um, you know, I've talked before, uh, and by the way, I'm a little bit sick, so you're going to have to bear with me. Um, but, you know, I've talked before on this series about, you know, anti-gun, you know, school systems, mainstream media, families, right? Those are states that you live in, right? Those are all examples of, you know, misinformation, propaganda, you could say, indoctrination, whatever you might choose to say on that. <clears throat> Those are all examples of that. You know, I've talked about anti-gun jobs where maybe despite how a person feels about guns, you know, maybe they kind of, because of their job, have to take a, maybe just a neutral stance, right? Because they could, you know, they could get pushed out for being pro-gun and in a lot of, you know, more liberal uh, workplaces. Um, so I've talked about all that, right? You know, most of the previous episodes in this series, though, it, it's, you know, there's not always much of a conclusion to these to these episodes, it's kind of just like, yeah, you know, this is a way that some people become anti-gun. But, you know, a lot of times, you know, I do say, you know, information is key, right? Inform these people of facts and proof, you know, present them with that. Um, and in a lot of cases, that's a good thing to do. You will be able to change a lot of people's minds who've, who have been indoctrinated through, you know, facts and whatnot. Um, now, all that to say, on this episode, I'm talking about some the, the anti-gunner who is anti-gun because they chose to be anti-gun. They're going to be anti-gun. We're not talking about the misinformed anti-gunner. We're talking about the obnoxious, annoying, this is the worst of the worst type of anti-gunner person who is anti-gun because they want to be anti-gun, right? So that's who we're talking about today, is that kind of person breaking it down, um, you know, a little bit at least. So we're going to get into that right now. Okay, so, you know, talking about this kind of person, right? Um, there's a few different, you know, it's like categories within categories, right? There's a few different uh, groups uh, under this this category. Um, so to break those down a little bit, right, you got people who they're anti-gun because they don't trust themselves with firearms and therefore they can't imagine anybody else trusting themselves either. Therefore, they think everybody's just going to be incredibly incompetent with firearms and, and so they don't want anybody to have them, right? That's one group, okay? Another group is somebody who does trust themselves with firearms and do have firearms themselves, but they don't want you to have them, right? So, like, it's good enough for me, but not for the type of situation. We see that a lot, uh, especially in politicians. Uh, and, you know, a lot of anti-gun politicians are in that boat, right? Uh, then, you know, the other group is just people who want control, um, which all we also see primarily in politics, but not only, not, not exclusively, right? Um, yeah, people who want, want to take control, you know, they know you got to take the guns first, right? Uh, but that's kind of getting off into another, another topic. Um, but yeah, so those are a few different uh, categories of, how some of these people think uh, within the larger category at hand. Um, you know, and, and the questions you got to ask yourself are, are why, right? Now, yes, yeah, some people who could potentially fall into this boat, could it could come from misinformation, especially if they're from an anti-gun family, right? 
Uh, but we're not really talking about those people because we've talked about those kind of antique entities in other videos. Um, I'm talking about the people who choose to be anti-gun, right? So what, wh how do you spot somebody who's, who ch has chosen to be anti-gun, right? Um, well, I would say you got to pay attention, right? Because if somebody who's misinformed, they're going to be willing to have a conversation with you largely, not always, but a lot of the time, most of the time, I would say they're going to be willing to have a conversation with you about a topic right like they might be willing to debate you on like anti-gun opinions right but a person who's chosen to be anti-gun they're that's the type, type of person that's gonna shut you down right they're gonna sh they're, they're gonna say something usually just absolutely false and often just rude right um, and they're going to leave it very closed in there. They're not going to leave it open for conversation. That's a telltale sign that this person has chosen to be anti-gun. Um, and they know they're wrong, right? That's why they're not leaving it open for conversation. Because they know they're wrong. Like, th these people know that what they're trying to do is, one, against the second amendment to the, it's unconstitutional right and two it's not actually going to save lives right because they always say these things in the name but we got to save lives but like they know it's not going to happen because it isn't um you know criminals are going to be criminals um so these people a lot you know largely these people know they're wrong therefore they're not going to be willing to have a conversation with you so in my opinion, that's one of the main uh, areas that you can tell if somebody is, if rather somebody's misinformed or they've chosen to be anti-gun and they know they're in the, the wrong, but they just want to take your rights because they don't like them, basically, right? It hurts their feelings or whatever kind of shit we may be talking about. So, you know... That's just to break down a couple um, or break down that group of people and, you know, give a big, big telltale sign of is a person misinformed? Have they decided to be anti-gun? You know, let's talk a little about a little more, you know, minor things, right? Um, you know, another thing I would say is, you know, a, a sign that somebody's chosen to be anti-gun rather than having been misinformed, is they're going to be way quicker to just talk a lot of shit, right? You know, they're going to, they're just going to say wild things that are super false because, you know, the, the, those who have decided to be anti-gun um, rather than have been misinformed, those are the people who are misinforming other people, right? So they're going to be out there saying wild things that are obviously false, but a lot of people will believe, fall for that and they'll believe that. And so these people, you know, you're either misinformed or you're spreading misinformation as far as anti-gunners go, right? Because... You know, there's not really facts around it, right? To be anti-gun is to be unconstitutional, which is not an acceptable thing, my opinion anyway. So, you know, that's just a little bit on that. You know, there's, there's those are a couple big things, I guess. You know, they're not willing to have a conversation with you. That's a big giveaway that they've chosen to be anti-gun. Or they're really saying wild shit, trying to just spread misinformation, right? And that's another uh, telltale sign that a person may be having chosen to be anti-gun. Because those who are misinformed, they're not, they're usually open to have a conversation. Not always, but they're often open to have a conversation. And they're often not going to spew as much of just random stuff around, you know, Obviously, sometimes they will, but you can usually tell if somebody's just repeating what they've been told or if they're actually coming up with it, you know, on the spot or out of, you know, from themselves, right? 
So, you know, this is just a little bit on this topic. Obviously, you know, there's a lot more to this topic. This is a pretty deep topic. I try to keep it simple, keep these episodes short. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm really not going to talk too much more about this. I just wanted to break this group of people down and, you know, talk a little bit about some, some big giveaways to if a person is in this boat or if they're in another boat that I've talked about in previous episodes. Because it's kind of hard to tell with anti-gunners, right? And there's a lot of overlay. And that's why, I think that's why many of us do kind of put all anti-gun people into the same group, even though they aren't. Um, it's just because there's a lot of overlay. It's hard to tell where one group of people ends and another starts. Uh, so that that's the point of this series, right? Anyway, if you want to continue seeing episodes of this series, you can subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments um, any other episodes of this series that you'd like to see or anything else on my channel that you'd like to see for that matter. Um, you know, I'm going to get out of here, though. So, goodbye.